Snowboard Kids was developed by Rackdom and published by Atlas. It was released in Japan in 1997, North America and PAL regions in 1998. Why do I love Snowboard Kids? Well, just take a look at the colorful graphics and cute characters. What is not to love? This game takes the fun of a kart racer and throws you on top of a high mountain to race down with various weapons at your disposal. Snowboard Kids consists of six main courses and three secret courses to unlock. Each has its own set of challenges and catchy music to go along with it. There are different board styles to choose from. There's freestyle with low speed but better handling, all around with the same speed and handling attributes, alpine, high speed but the most difficult to handle. Finally, there are even some special boards that you can unlock once you complete the game. These will range in attributes and characteristics. Each board takes a different skill to master. For the earlier tracks, I found that the all around or alpine to work best. These tracks are more wide open, providing you more space to maneuver, so the extra speed is definitely helpful. For the later tracks, I went with the freestyle board. These tracks have more sharp turns and narrow paths, which makes it a challenge to steer with the other ones. The freestyle did keep the race closer, but since my, since my top speed was limited, but I was able to stay near the pack using this strategy. Snowboard Kids has some of the best music on the Nintendo 64. Just listen to some of these tracks. These tracks will be stuck in your head all day after a play session of this game. I found myself wanting to jump back in just to hear some of these once more. Snowboard Kids has five races to choose from, with one secret character obtained once you get gold on all nine tracks. Each character has their own style and attributes. Some are faster but more difficult to handle, others are slower but easier to handle. You'll have to try out a few to find the right character and board combination that works best for you. I found that Slash, using the all around board, was my go to. I also did change to the freestyle board to provide better handling for the tougher tracks. After each race, you will acquire coins to purchase additional board levels. To be honest, I never noticed a difference in the board level and the stat screen didn't seem to indicate anything. My assumption is these allow for extra colors for each of the board types. You can change the board color in the shop menu to suit your style and add some variety to the game. These coins are also needed during the race to purchase items to gain advantage. If you don't have enough coins, you'll run into the item box and briefly fall down. Be sure to avoid the item boxes whenever your money is at zero. Tricks can also be done when hitting the launch points. Hold the A button to gain speed, release once you hit the jump, and then quickly turn the stick into any direction. You have to be careful when making these jumps to only attempt tricks you have enough time to land. If you don't land flat, your character will fall, allowing some time for your opponents to catch up. These tricks are key, as landing a trick will add coins to your total. The more difficult the trick, the more coins you will get for each. Be sure to pick up lots of coins and land tricks as you race down to ensure you can continue to pick up the items. Items will be needed to win the race.
There is a lot of variety to the items. One is a snowball that will turn your opponent into a snowman. Another is an ice block and another is a bomb just to name a few. The most overpowered weapon in the game is a gold coin. This shoots three gold coins into the air that will hit all three opponents briefly to flatten them so you can catch up and speed by. You don't have to aim with this item at all as it will hit any racer wherever they are on the track. My favorite item is the parachute ball. If you hit your opponent with this weapon, they fly up, high up in the air and slowly parachute down. This really slows down the other players, especially if you hit them right before a high jump. Snowboard Kids allows for up to four players to race against each other. If you can get four people to play this game together, you'll be in for some epic fun. Another unique aspect of Snowboard Kids is the lap system. When you reach the bottom of the mountain, you will race to the chairlift entrance to get on and back up the mountain. This can lead to a crowd at the bottom since you can only enter one at a time. You can even beat an opponent to the lift at the last minute to get a quick lead. Add four human players to this and you're in for some fun chaos. Once you get first place on all nine courses, you will unlock a secret character. He is the fastest and best all-around racers in the game. Just beating him on the final track will be difficult enough. The final track is a ninja land that has a quick trip down the mountain. This track has nine total laps, which keeps the race close and intense. However, due to the short nature of the track and the speed of the secret racer, it is very easy to get behind with a couple of mistakes. The goal is to just remain close until the final lap or two and take over first place. Continue to pick up items to help maintain your position and eventually take over. This leads to my biggest issue with the game, the computer rubber banding. You will rarely get big leads on your opponent which is very frustrating, especially since you won't see the same gaps when you are behind. You can easily get way behind with no hope to catch up. However, with a continued effort, you will improve and learn the tracks. This will eventually get you over that threshold to capture the gold trophies. With the gameplay being so addictive, you won't have a hard time doing this, but just have to have some patience when you're trying to get through all the tracks. It will likely take you many attempts to complete the game. Another minor gripe is the game file takes up a ton of space. My file took up most of my Nintendo 64 memory card. If you are looking to play this game, be sure to pick up a dedicated memory card just for it. In addition to the race modes, there is a trick game, shooting game, and time trial. In the trick game, you attempt to land as many tricks as you can until you reach the finish line. The shooting game requires you to hit snowman as you race down. The more you hit, the better your score. The time trial is your standard timing event to see how fast you can complete a lap. I didn't enjoy these modes as much as the main races, but they are nice inclusions if you need a diversion. Snowboard Kids is an absolute blast to play. Even completing the races, it still has me coming back for more. I love the colorful characters, amazing music, and challenge. I would highly recommend this game to any owner of the Nintendo 64. This game can be fairly priced on the resale market, so if it's too much for you, try to find an emulator. Personally, I think this game is worth the price since the replay value is high due to the addictive and fun gameplay. Snowboard Kids is a fantastic game for the Nintendo 64.